video, we're just going to look at how you can undertake a t-test using a small data set in Excel. So here we have data from 20 employees, so a very small data set, too small really to be useful for inferential statistics. However, it's helpful to illustrate the points that we're trying to make. So we have um, 20 respondents, uh, male and female, with different lengths of service, different age, different levels of job satisfaction. What I would like to do here is to look at the length of service between the two roles, managerial and administrative, and see if there's a significant difference between them. So in order to do that, I need a t-test. T-tests show, or help us to show, if there are significant differences between two groups. If there were more than two groups that we were interested in, then we'd have to have an analysis of variance. So first of all, it would make life easier if we sort and filter the job roles. So I'm going to highlight the job roles and then go up here and sort and filter on the home tab, sort A to Z, and I've collected um, my A's and M's. I need to expand my selection to carry all the data with them. So now I want to compare length of service for these two groups. Now I, what I could do is to, is to actually highlight the group separately. I could make one column for length of service for all the A's and I could make another column for length of service for all the M's. But actually it'll work perfectly well if I leave it there. So what I need to do now is go to my data tab and then go to the data analysis section right on the far right hand side and of course you need to um, implement the and in for this and once it opens we can select the test we want. So for this one I want um, a two sample, not a paired sample, a two sample t-test I can pick from either equal or unequal variances because I don't know, I'll, un I'll use the unequal variances in this particular case. Click OK. And so it now wants the first variable. And so this will be my length of service for all A's. And there it is. And my variable 2 is length of services for all M's. And there it is. My hypothesized mean difference, my null hypothesis, would be 0. I haven't got labels in, the, in my selection, so I'm going to leave that unticked. I would like to have my output um, uh, on this page here, so I'm going to click my output range and put it, say, there, and click OK. And here's my output, and I can widen my columns here if I wish to see them a little bit more clearly. And basically what I'm looking for are p-values. And I can see here and there I've got p-values for one-tailed and two-tailed tests. We normally look at the two-tails unless there's any reason to not do so. And it would appear that uh, the p-value here is just under 0.03, which of course is less than 0.05. And therefore, that would seem to show us that we can reject our null hypothesis and accept an alternate hypothesis in which the two groups have a significantly different length of service. And it would appear here that the M's, the managerial uh, group, have a significantly higher length of service than the A's, the administrators.